Preparing for a job search often starts with learning about how to find an opportunity or create a great resume. As you work on these fundamentals, you may find that this process raises questions regarding how identity and diversity interact with your job search. That's what we're here to talk about today. Typically, people construct their self-concept based on their membership in different social groups. These aspects can be lenses through which we see and experience the world. Identities are shaped by the individual, interactions with others, and institutions. They can be different depending on context and can evolve over your lifetime. These eight aspects of social identity are the most commonly mentioned identity categories, but are not the only ones. Self-reflection can help you understand how your history and identity define you and how you interact with the world, especially how you may experience professional or work settings. Questions surrounding your identities may arise for you during any part of the hiring process. You may encounter dilemmas relating to contact information, resume details, dress, hairstyle, and interview experiences because these activities can all involve aspects of your social identities. Overall, it's good to be aware of how your identities may interact with the job search process and the strengths you bring to a company or organization because of them. In the United States, there are many laws designed to prevent discrimination in the hiring process. It is illegal for employers to discriminate on the basis of race, color, religion, sex, including pregnancy, national origin, age, disability, or genetic information. However, laws can vary by state and the legal definitions of identity categories continue to evolve. There may also be times in the job search process when you encounter implicit bias, which is when people act on the basis of prejudice and stereotypes without intending to do so. If you are worried about hiring discrimination or implicit bias related to one of your identities, meet with a professional from one of the many campus support offices who can provide expertise in those areas. A list of them is at the end of this video. The good news is that many companies realize that employees with diverse social identities are an asset to the workplace. Creating a culture of inclusion is increasingly important to companies because it positively affects the work culture and productivity of an organization, as well as the career satisfaction of its employees. Companies that value inclusivity often communicate those values on their website, in job descriptions, and in recruitment materials. Before applying for any position, do your research on the company culture. Check the company's website to see if they're transparent in communicating their policies on diversity. Often, companies will have information on diversity, equity, and inclusion, or DEI, written right in their mission or value statement. If possible, review the makeup of the staff and research whether the company has proactive outreach programs for special populations, such as mentoring and affinity groups. Even reviewing the language used in the job description can tell you a lot about a company's commitment to diversity and inclusion. To gain further insight, check online employment resources like the Human Rights Campaign's Corporate Equality Index, Diversity Inc., and Glassdoor to see whether or not the company is recognized for their commitment to diversity and inclusion. Lastly, use your Spartan Alumni Network and other trusted people resources who can give you insider knowledge on the industry or company norms. The other step to take before interviewing or engaging with an employer is to take some time to self-reflect. Some identities are highly visible, while others are invisible to the people around you. They are only part of what makes you, you. Think about how your unique viewpoints, strengths, and diverse background can contribute to and strengthen an organization. One way to do this can be to review your resume and make note of anecdotes and previous experiences that you can use in the interview to communicate those strengths. However, there can be risks to discussing or disclosing experiences or affiliations that reveal social identities. Your ref reflection should help you decide whether or not to discuss, disclose, or display those social identities during the various stages of the job search. There is no right or wrong way to communicate yourself and everyone's approach may be different. There are many campus resources available if you would like to dive deeper into how your social identities may intersect with your job search. Consider some of these resources for your next step. Of course, you are always welcome to make an appointment on Handshake with a career advisor or drop by Career Services at the Student Services Building to speak about your specific situation. To learn more about the ways to approach identity and diversity during your job search, check out part two of this video series.